Hello there, welcome to the channel. I just wanted to make a quick and simple video talking about Sonic Prime. In fact, I'm gonna set a timer to make sure that I don't talk for way too long about this because honestly, I'm not gonna go into a bunch of like analysis. I am not going to go on at great length about the whole multiverse structure and whether it's getting old. It kind of is. Long story short, I think here in this context, it works just fine. But Sonic Prime is the new Netflix Sonic show. There are currently eight episodes available to watch. I had previously looked at one of the, the recent trailers for the show, and my overall impression was just genuine excitement. It, it looked like a fun action-adventure show, and that's exactly what it is. The stakes are fairly straightforward. Our cast is not especially deep or interesting. The individual characters are, are perfectly believable and serviceable for what this story is. And also because of the multiverse uh, structure of the show, we get to see different versions of each character across different timelines, different realities. I think that the tone in this show is absolutely perfect for what Sonic is, and I am most an outsider to the Sonic video game franchise as well as a lot of the Sonic movies and shows. I happen to hate the live action Sonic movies that we've gotten in the last couple years. I think they are just awful. And this is such a, a breath of fresh air and I feel like it has a huge potential to bring a lot more people into the fan base. And the timing is kind of funny too because this comes just a few days after Yahtzee of Zero Punctuation and The Escapist released what I think is a really excellent uh, short video essay about the tonal confusion that the Sonic franchise has been experiencing basically since the very start. And he said a lot of things in that video that I think kind of needed to be said. And here, I'm so happy that it's just a fun kids show. I am not saying that it will appeal exclusively to children, although I do think it skews more in that direction. If you have kids and you're wondering whether it's cool for them to be watching the show, yeah, it's totally fine. Just wacky fun adventures. It's rated TVY7, so you really don't need to worry about content here. I don't know, I, the tone is just, it's simple, it's straightforward. You know who the good guys are and who the bad guys are. I do wonder if the multiverse structure would make this show kind of confusing for very young viewers. Like if there's a kid, I don't know, between five and seven it might be a bit much to wrap their head around like wait okay why is there another tales now and like what is this <laughs> but for everyone else i think they do a decent job of making it clear that that's going to be a big part of the show from the trailers and they also explain basically how this is all happening and how they're able to travel between realities by like the third or fourth episode so it's not like they stretch it out for for the the duration here. Voice acting I think is excellent. In fact, I'm kind of blown away that they didn't just use either this lead uh, voice actor for Sonic for the Sonic movies. I think it would have been much better that way, but most of the cast, I really enjoyed their voice performances here, especially Tails. This is one of the best portrayals of Tails as a character. Please take that with a grain of salt. Again, I'm not a huge Sonic fan, but I love Tails in this show. I especially love the Blade Runner version of Tails that we get in the um, essentially like post-apocalyptic what do they call it new york city which is a little mm -hmm. but yeah simple stories fighting seems to be the meat here that seems to be what they want to get to in every single episode is characters either fighting each other or fighting the nameless robot goons or in the bad guys that are going to come after them um, it is increasing in complexity as well uh, in terms of like traveling between the, the realities and stuff and having multiple versions of characters meet each other. That's all fine. I, th I think it serves the story just fine. And it does dip into that broader topic of whether everything needs to be a multiverse nowadays because that has been so common across a lot of big movies, a lot of big shows. And in a lot of cases, I think it's just an excuse to bring back sources of nostalgia you know, and be very self-referential and real world and all that. It certainly has been in the context of the Marvel movies that have taken advantage of that element. But beyond that, I think in a more general sense, it can be a tool to deliver variety. And that's certainly what it's, that's certainly the function that it seems to be serving here in Sonic Prime is that we just get a number of different locations. We get different versions of the characters. And I think that's okay. Like, I don't think it's, it should be a source of criticism unless things really go off the rails as the show 
continues. For the moment, it's a perfectly pleasant show. It is very easy to watch. However, I will say if you are an adult and if you're not a big Sonic fan, you might not be super into watching characters hit each other a bunch. Like that does get a little old. I do think the action is executed quite well throughout. But personally, that's not something I tend to really look forward to in different action adventure type shows. And here I did, I did very much get tired of the fighting. I wanted to explore. I wanted to see the different uh, adventures and uh, they go on and the, the trouble they would get into along the way. It's definitely not a high budget show. It doesn't come across that way. I wouldn't say that it's ugly by any stretch and I do think that they put their resources into some really important areas specifically in the ways that characters emote just their expressions and such like that all looks pretty darn good even if a lot of the textures throughout the show between the character models and their environments and stuff can seem pretty darn simplistic in a lot of cases. Regardless, I think that brings us basically to the end here. Again, just a really quick set of impressions about Sonic Prime. All positive so far, basically across the board. Um, there are a few little nitpicks I've had with it, but uh, for the most part, I'm just glad that it's around. I'm glad that it's providing something that feels kind of classic. It, it feels very Sonic in a way. It reminds me of those old Saturday morning cartoon shows. And I think that's kind of what they needed to do here. So bravo, good job teams. And I'm looking forward to see what they do with the rest of the season. But that's all for now. Thanks for stopping by.